Hello. Today I have a very exciting find to share with you. <clears throat> I was able to get this huge bag of Polly Pocket items. Uh, the the label here from the thrift store says play sets and figures. It was twelve dollars, and it is just packed full. I am so excited to open this up and see what's in here. I feel almost like a kid at Christmas. Now, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing with this. I do resell things on eBay that I get or things that we're finished with. Um, I also had an interest in these, uh, just for my own, my own household use with my children. I don't know where my interest in Polly Pocket came from, but I stumbled across the value of the vintage Polly Pockets, which is what these are. These are... These are older Polly Pockets. They were from, I would say, between 20 to 30 years ago. Maybe more. I, I'm not exactly sure on dates and things. But um, how it all went down was, a couple years ago, Polly Pocket had been reintroduced. And I was considering getting my daughter a couple for something. It was either Christmas or her birthday or... I don't know, a, a time that I needed to get her or something. And um, by the time I went to shop for these, they were gone, the, the new Polly Pockets. So I thought, well, I'll look online. Maybe I can still pick them up online. And in doing that, I stumbled across the value of the vintage Polly Pockets. And oh my goodness, if you have any Polly Pockets, they're worth more than you would think they are. This bag here, now I'm not sure if these sets are complete or what exactly is in here, but I'm pretty sure it's worth more than $12. So I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna lay them all out, and I'm gonna show you what's here. Wow, let me tell you what, I am just absolutely overwhelmed. I don't even know. <laughs> what a lot of this is um and there's more than what's just right there i've got a bag of some oddities here and then a few more little items so most of this is poly pocket but there are a couple other things and I don't know what they are. So this is something else. And I don't, I set these up here. They were in those bags. I feel like maybe they go with it. I just have no idea. This is something else. It's got these things attached with ribbons. And there's more things with ribbons in this bag here. Um, I'm assuming these little chariots, just because of the way the glitter is adhered to them, it's very similar to this castle. So I'm assuming that these various things go with these two items, whatever they are. I'm going to have to do some research. If you know what it is, you could tell me. Um, and then there is a My Little Fairy Tales, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, which resembles a Polly Pocket, but it is not. And it's super cute. You can see Goldilocks there. And it looks like we've got two bears. There could be more in with the other accessories. And they just had to filter through. Now these here are Polly Pockets. Super cute. They 
just don't make toys with this much detail anymore. I mean, adorable. This is also a Polly Pocket. Sad thing. You can see this is broken here. I do have the piece. It was in the bag. And then there was also another little broken corner here. And I have that piece, but. So that's really unfortunate because this is so cool. Let me try to get this opened. Look at all those polys in there. So many of them, lots and lots. There's like some dresses and like a bride. Polly, oops, but and some extra dresses, and it appears like this one has lights, and the lights aren't working, and there's a, also a second floor, and this little western town. So super cool. Also has a light. This is a switch, but it is not working. So I don't know. The right person might be able to spry that up. And there's a second level as well. Super cute. Like a little yellow heart. Holly. Now I've been looking at the dates on these and they range from the late 80s to the early 90s. And Polly's hanging out in this one. I don't know how I'm ever going to figure out what goes with what. And I guarantee you I'm missing some things, but there is a lot here as well. How cute is that? A church. And I'm sure these have, this is a switch too. Don't know what it does. I'm sure these have features that I don't even know. Adorable. Now this little radio opens up. It's a Polly Pocket. I did have it open, it was tricky. This little phone opens up. And actually this phone part here you take apart and use the pieces. This little chest, no idea what this goes with, but it's got a bunch of polys and accessories in there. And then there's this large Holly Pocket kind of carnival thing. I don't know if this guy goes with it, but the colors were kind of similar, so I set them there. The snaps in here. Found the little train. But again, I'm not sure what else might or might not go with it that I have. This is absolutely precious. I love this one. It is like the nursery. How adorable. And you've got these little babies. And also another thing I noticed is this lifts out and there are ink pads and then these other little items. stamps they just so they brought Polly back out a couple years ago which I was talking about when I started this video and they were nothing like this nothing nothing at all 
It's a little restaurant, Mims. I'm not sure if these cars are Polly Pocket or what they are. So, a little fella. Thank you. Also, Polly Pocket Burger Shop. Some of these I already forget how they open up. A beach house. area and then these I'm not exactly sure what these are um, I just don't know for sure but inside of one of them is a bunch of little bears makes me wonder if maybe these go along with the Goldilocks? I don't know. So, now this is a different little house playset, and it is um, different from these other ones that are different. But again, I don't know what it is. And I think some of those pieces in this bag here actually go with that. Maybe not all of them, but perhaps some. But it is a neat design. Let me open it up for you. Try to delicately move these Polly Pockets. So precious. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The rocking chair rocks. Such detail. And the great thing about these is, uh, Polly Pockets was that, you know, you could have a whole little world without a super ton of money. If I can get this open. There we go. So again, this is neat. It just opens up. And it even opens even further than that. But you can see. It's just really cool. A lot of similar concepts of Polly. But this is not a poly. So I don't know. There's your bathroom. The toilet. I don't know what exactly that is. But cute all the same. So I, what I think I'm going to do is just, this I believe goes with that castle. And you know, this little critter, I don't know what it is, but he reminds me or she reminds me of something. And I believe there's little chariots attached. So, what do you think I'm going to do? Because I have no idea what I've got here. And it is, it might even be difficult to decipher what is Polly Pocket and what is something else. I think I'm going to, to sell it all together just as is. Um, I would love to keep some of it because I love the 
time and thought and design that went into Polly Pockets, but I feel like a collector or somebody who's looking for some of these would appreciate them more, even more than I do. You can see Polly Pocket was made by Bluebird Toys. This one's got a 1992 date. This one is 94. There were some 80s. Again, a 94. It's broke off on that one where it was, but super adorable. 94. I guess 94 was a big year for whoever this collection belonged to. 94 again. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, this incredible find, and if you have any comments or you have any information about any of the things that I have shown you here, please feel free to share. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos.